What's up, ticket holders? Time to do something new. We haven't done these in a while. A actually, minute. since Movie Hopper started. So yeah. I said, okay, we could try this on J3 Entertainment, see if this flies the time around. This is a TV series review. So we're taking a television episode, or we're going to do two of them since it was a back to back thing. Yeah. And we're going to basically give you what we are review on this actual television series, which is called Atlanta. Great. Ah, man. Oh. It's an FX series. It's uh, created by one of my favorite rappers right now, Donald Glover, Chowder Gambino. Yeah. And uh, I have to say, this is something new. Very new. Something Refreshing, new. too. Refreshing, yeah. man. Tell them about it. What's up, man? Oh, gosh. Atlanta. Sitting there holding back in jail. Oh, yeah. Here we go, y'all. Atlanta is about uh, three young men in, uh, in the South. And they're basically, you know, just struggling, you know, trying to find their way in the world. And uh, music is a big impact in the South. And uh, they're trying to become up and coming you know, artists. And, uh, you know, they're, they're showing their struggles and uh, they're trying to get, you know, odd jobs here and there. You know, some have families, some are hustlers, and some are just trying to make it big. And they're trying to find their outing mm -hmm. to get into that, you know, that big time career. And uh, it's just a, it's a great enduring drama, man. Really dope. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to collaborate both of them. The first episode is called The Big Bang and the okay. second episode is called Streets on Lock. So we're just going to talk about it because I watched it all the way through. Okay. I didn't even know it was a freaking episode. I thought it was just an hour show. Right. Well, what was it? Was it two hours? It was 20, 20 minutes each. Yeah, I thought it was just an hour show. Yeah. So uh, shout out to Charles Gambino, Donald Glover for being a genius at this. Just, man. This guy's dope. Through this production, yeah. This guy, I'll have to say, Donald Glover is one of the best writers of this generation. Some people do not understand him, and that's fine. But when they don't understand you, that's how you know you're on some good shit. Like Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Don't understand him, but he keeps making movies. This dude's on some good shit. Charles Gambino, Donald Glover, tight. When I first saw when I saw this episode, these two episodes, I was I was intrigued already because I'm a Donald, I'm a Charles Gambino fan. I was like, I gotta watch it, you know what I mean? But this show was so much it was so real that the way they directed this these episodes felt like a full detailed film from the way the characters will move from the 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 backgrounds from the the acting it's just it was all on point yeah it was really dope i mean these characters let me see donald glover plays a character called urn who is a bum like he's low-key a dropout he has a, he has a baby mama and he obviously still messing with her but she's trying to better her life but she doesn't want to treat him bad because she knows he has so much potential and it's like yeah. this is dope because that's really what happens to people and then you meet his his cousin whose name is a uh, 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 Brian paper boy yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying and it's dope yeah you know what I mean he is you know he I, I believe he inherited some money from his mom yeah you see what I'm saying and he and he made a video he's like man I could be a rapper you know what I'm saying I, I got these chops and then his, his homeboy whose name Darius he's like this visionary out of this world dude that you have to sit there like bruh Darius reminds me of Ryder <laughs> because people, Ryder's my homie. I've known Ryder for over 15 years, but he is such a visionary person. If you talk to him and you really listen to what he's saying, he'll make sense yeah. sometime. But a lot of people bypass it. And he reminds me a lot about, about, a lot about Ryder yeah. because he's, he's like, bro, I mean, you look at it like this. And, and, and you're like, damn, you know what? I can see that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really feel that character. These characters, I feel, are like my own friends. Right. Like, they all have the personalities. Like, like there's parts about Charles Gambino's character, like Earn, that are like me. The sarcasm, the, the, the wise cracking. That's something I will do. Yeah. And I automatically have grown to like this in these characters. And Paperboy is more like Jody Joe to me, to a certain degree. He's more like a Jody Joe, uh, uh, the Flash on the score too. Yeah. Like a few, like it's like a fusion of these personalities in here that I love so much about this show, man. Too much man. for me. Go ahead, man. Spit that shit. Tell me what's up, man. Dude, uh, I, I thought this show was uh, very unique in the sense that uh, it it kind of shed light on a lot of things in today's world. Uh, 
it exposed a lot of things. It, it touched on uncomfortable subjects, man. Like it was crazy. It showed how hip hop has an influence on your, the younger uh, generation of kids and things like that. It talked about homophobia. It talked about everything, and it showed people in real situations to the sense where it's like, yeah, I, you, I've experienced that. I've seen someone go through that. So it was interesting in the sense that coming into it, it's not only was it about the hip hop uh, factor, but just the struggles of being your own person and being who you are and letting the world know who you are, even though they don't understand right, you. Right, right, right. I, right. I like that whole take on this because my favorite character in the show is Don Clover's character because he was the one that was kind of like he reminds me a lot the alpha of, male. He, re he reminds me of that shit you do. You walk around with a backpack on your back, bro. Right. I was like, look at Ronan. She was sucked. Yeah, just. He, he's yeah, in the world, yeah, but he's yeah, in his own world. Yeah, I'm in my own world. Freaking back, man. And yeah. that was that was like so refreshing to see because it didn't feel fake. It's like yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I a little bit of myself. That's what I'm saying. The yeah, character, I like man, that. bruh. Like not to cut you off, but it's like and and we we just talking about the character feel. Then we gonna get into the actual review of everything. But yeah, like even his girl, man. You know what I mean? She remind me of my girl. You know what I'm saying? Very simple. Because. Yeah. She is yeah. now. She's not really a lot of girls and stuff like that. She, she, she. Her friends are very limited. She takes care of her kids. She makes makes sure all that stuff is on point. Her house is running. If I need her, she'll be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Liable. It, She's it, contained life. Yeah. The characters are on point, and maybe it's because the way I was brought up. Your parents brought. Your parents were down south. My parents were down south. You know, shout out to Illinois, Champaign. That's where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you know what I mean? It's it's it's. It gave me that home feeling, even though it's rough in Atlanta. Yeah, it felt like home. Right, and I love that about this series. And it felt like it was still possible in that yes. the way out. And the drama, yeah. it's a drama series, but because real life is comedy, yeah, it becomes a comedy drama. Naturally funny, not forced. Exactly. Yeah, like it was like we get we can get into the review. You, wait, you got any more to say about this? Oh, I just want to say, uh, I, I thought the show was like strongly written, man. It, it's amazing. I, I know it, was, it must be hard for an artist to be like behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Donald Glover was able to be the star of the show without saying, hey, I'm the star. Like he let other people get some shine. Like everything, every path that he took uh, gave a three dimensional light to everyone. Yes. He gave in and out and he exposed all these uh, issues and social issues in 30 minutes. Type. How the heck do you do that? Like, because he's smart. That's yeah. why I like him as a rapper. Thirty he's not like, minutes. He's not like the other rappers, man. He actually spits bars that remind you of stuff. I mean, this guy said, uh, uh, he said, "Tn Tn to marry in my bed. I'm a smart guy." Tight. And he's like, "Go home, Rod." It was tight. Tight. Like, that was like, tight. like. That's dope. Yeah. Like, you, just punchlines like that, man. Like, he, he he's brilliant. He's brilliant. I like it. Check this out. He's all over the place. Like I say, he's an entertainer. You gotta understand him. He does everything. You gotta understand. I even watched this thing when he was talking about he replaced Weirdo. he replaced yeah. he replaced va he, he replaced nigga with vampire. Yeah. It, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> Cheese, but it was funny. Yeah. But I understood the audience he was going for, so for it sure. works. Yeah. Um, let's get on this. Okay. The Big Bang first episode. What you think about that? Like. Break down the episode. Basically, the episode is about just introducing the characters. You find out who Ern is. You find out his place in the world. You find out who Van is, his girl, his baby mother, his best friend. You find out about his cousin, who is play, who's Paperboy. You find out about Paperboy's, I guess, uh, manager yeah. Darius. You find out about them, and you you Donald Glover's character finds out. Like this is the to me the, the best part of that episode. Excuse me, the best part of the episode is when Donald Glover's at work. And <laughs> it was funny. He was at work and him and his other dude was sitting there chilling. It was like, man, I think they were trying to sell timeshares or something. And he was like, man, bro, like we can't get anything. But she over there getting everything. It was like this old black lady, right? And this white guy was just signing up and she was behind a white guy like, mm, mm, uh, like you ain't seen, uh, uh, uh. It was funny because that's what, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Cocky old women, they be doing shit like that. Yeah. When they know they get, they they, they good, they they do stuff like. And it was funny because she was taunting them, and he was like, "Hey man, check this out. This mm -hmm. little dude came out named Paperboy, man. Look, and he had his iPhone, and the brilliance of Donald Glover, he took in how people really are in real life. His iPhone screen was jacked up. Yeah. And it made sense because we're broke, we're in Atlanta, we can't just get our phone fixed. And he was looking, he's like. That's my cousin. 
He was like, yo, cousin Barry Boy, man, he gonna blow up, man. He gonna be big. He was like, uh. And you saw that, that, that whole image of that screen. That's what got me. I said, this is gonna be a good show. That's what got me on the episode. And it shot back on the truth. It like, made sense. Yeah. Like, dude, people have jacked up phones, bro. I'm tired of seeing movies where people got perfect phones. That don't be happening, man. Niggas is broke. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. So man. My favorite, up. My, man, my favorite part of the episode was when uh, he ran into his old friend, uh, the white guy who was supposed to be like a manager in the studio. And he was basically like talking all this stuff, man, because he felt like he was big time. But he kind of used his he used his color to like you know, so you know what I'm talking about. It and the janitor, like, yeah, the guy that's taking the trash out. He's like, nah, I would have clocked him. He called me that. He, all right, the scene uh, is, it was funny because the white dude was like, you know what I'm saying, dog, man, I'm out here. You know, we are trying to get that money, man. Y'all work up in there, dog. You know what I'm saying? And but well, don't call me word for word. I just saw it. I gotta you know watch it again. But mm. he was like. So, you know what I mean? The DJ go in and he put flow rider on. I'm like, hey, my nigga, you need to change that shit, right? And yeah. see, Donald Glover's character where he's kind of like, he's a nerd, but he's, I, I will say, how can I say it? He is hood nerd. Yeah. Country hood nerd. That's a good way to put it. He's, he's not. He's reserved. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah, he's a very reserved individual. He's very smart. Yeah. But he's not, not an in, idiot. he's not an idiot, he's not into killing, but he knows about it. Right. He knows how it is to eat, you know, drink sugar water and eat wish sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> you know, so he understands that kind of stuff. So it's funny because the white dude looks at him because he's not a threat. Right. Because he's, could be possibly whitewashed, you could say. Yeah. But he's not. That's where I was going with it, yeah. And he's like, yeah, man, I told that nigga, and Donald Glover's like, what? Even I said, I was like, wow, they say, I, I, I know they, the white guy said out there because I was out there in Texas and that word was used fluently among blacks and whites. Like it was just like a number word. It was a long time. It blew my mind. Yeah. But anyway, so he said it and Don Glover was like, whatever. But then when he <laughs> when he pulled up to the black guys, he was like, what's up, dudes? How you guys doing, man? Hey, how'd your coffee is? Well, what? He completed 360. And Don, Don Glover looking like, what the hell? And he talks to the janitor right. and he's like, has he ever said the N word? He's like, man, if he ever said that, I'd clock him. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because that's how people be. Real life. A lot of it's the show's on point. The de the little minor details yes. within the characters, uh, it, it makes it all the more better because you know people really do this. It's like it's like they took real life and put it in great cinematography. <laughs> Donald Glover's dope with that man. He, yeah. he I, I think he sat there and really thought about it. Like I mean, I'm gonna make a real show. And Atlanta, the first episode was very dope, very captivating. That's what got me to watch. I didn't know it was a two episode. I thought it was one episode. Yeah. Now the second episode, the lockdown. Well, actually, at the end of episode one, a shooting occurred, and right, right. they all got locked up. But Donald Glover's character has never been in trouble. Right. So everyone else got out of jail, but him. He had to stand there and hold him. So it was kind of new to him. Yeah. Yeah. But I have to say, this is. This episode was so unique and dope at the same time because it was like this shit really happened. Excuse my language. You want to go with something? Yeah. Uh, oh gosh, the standoff scene for me in this uh, episode was all oh, the prison scene. I was <laughs> crying, laughing like everybody had their little moments and they they kind of put light on yeah, themselves. Yeah. And which way are you gonna go? Which way are you gonna do? Because there's two prison scenes yeah. in there that was tight. Well, it wasn't prison scenes. Right, second. There was incarcerated scenes, like they was in a waiting room. Yeah. But the waiting room part towards the end. Which one do you wanna do? Because I wanna do one. It was funny. It was two yeah. of them. You wanna do the guy, the old man? The guy, the the young guy. You wanna do the young guy? Yeah. You better say it right. Because if you don't, I'm stopping you because that was funny. Okay. I'll do the old guy. Ah, oh, freak. Right. So it was an old dude in there, right? And. He was like, man, I told her, man, I should do that, man. I told her I should do that, man. And then Donald Glover, he looked at Donald Glover. He said something. What you in here for, man? Or something. Donald Glover said, uh, see, man, I'm in here because, man, I was on probation all this time. And then my friend, I ain't seen him in 20 goddamn years. He come out and talk about, can you have some drink? I know I shouldn't been drinking, but, you know, I was on probation. I had to go do my drink, man. You know what I'm saying? So I go get a drink. Police pull up. Now I'm here, man. And he's talking all this smack about the dude, right? And his friends in the front. That's it. The 20 years. <laughs> hey man, I'm, I said I'm sorry, man. I just ain't seen you in 20 years. <laughs> man, F you, man. You better go into That was the funniest shit because if you've ever been in situations like that where you're in some type of holding, you meet the weirdest people. You meet those type of people. I met a dude on the bus one time. 
I was sitting there. It was a while back. It was about, I'll say, 10 years ago, as a matter of fact. Was it 2016 now? Yeah, about yeah. 10 years, man. I was, I just got, you know, I, I, I was like my second year in college and stuff. Anyway, I was on the bus, and this guy, he's like, hey, hey, man. I said, huh? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Hey, man, what's that in your ear, man? I said, it's a Bluetooth. Where you been in jail? He was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, that's like I was so <laughs> I was such a dick. But it was it was so funny and he kept it 100. Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, I've been locked up, man, man. I did some shit like back back in the day, man. I just got out, man. I've been in like 10 goddamn years, man. And it, and it was just like that scene. That's why that scene, it worked for me. Because yeah. I saw that. Yeah. You say one word to them fools and they just go on. Yeah. Ah. Oh, they some storytellers. Tight, man. Go into the, <laughs> into the other scene, man. All right, man. That shit had me dying. Scene, I, I forget the character's name, but uh, the young guy with the, the braids and the cornrows, he swore up and down that he was straight and he was talking to the girl next, uh, next to him, well, the he, she, or whatever. And uh, they was inside. He was trying to, you know, get reacquainted with her because they were his old friends or whatever. And uh, Don Glover was uh, sitting right in between them. And he's like, man, stop acting weird. He's like, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. I'm not gay, man. This is my female. This is my lady, man. Nah, man, you been on the inside. You gay, nigga. That's the man. Bruh, that scene was done so... Childish Gambino's tight. And I'll tell you why that scene was done well. Because it started off where Childish was in the middle. And it was this guy and this girl. We're gonna say girl for now. Yeah. Even though we knew that was a man. Yeah, no doubt. And the guy like, so you know what I'm saying, girl, you know, Lisa, what's up, girl? You know, how you doing, man? You know, I ain't seen you in a while, baby, you know what I'm saying? And he, and he like, he, he, he. <laughs> and Charles Gambino's like, uh, this is weird. Um Straight you, face, just you, you want me to I can I can leave. Right. No man, sit your butt down, man. Why you have to know I'm weird and shit, man? <laughs> Man, it's my girl, it's my ex girl, man. He was like, yeah, man, we, 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 you know, we used to do things when we was up in here, you know what I'm saying? When we got, when we got out, you know what I'm saying? I was tearing that shit up, right? And it was funny. Charles and me got weird out. And he's like, man, we track like that, man. I'm sort of talking about ex girl, homie. And this random dude did the most Jody Joe shit ever. And that, this show's tight because it reminds me of the people that I know. He said, ex girl. Man, that's a dude. <laughs> and everybody in the in the in the precinct or the in the waiting room started dying laughing. Dude, that ain't no dude. That's my ex-girl, man. That's all woman. He's like, man, if she all woman, why she in here with all men? Dude, if she was a woman, she'll be in the other room with the women. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> Shut the soul. Buddy. It was epic the way that scene went down. I was Cheesy laughing. Yeah, that was, that was, was hilarious. For me. That was a highlight for me. That was hilarious. He's like, man, I ain't gay, man. What are you talking about? And the and the he she wouldn't say nothing. He she was like, you know, like, oh shit, you didn't know Dang. it was balls hanging low. That shit was funny. That show's gonna be good. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't lose its its, its clout. I hope not either, because it got it's got a lot of yes. steam right now. Yes, it's yes, uh, yes. Strong, uh, I think it's, uh, it's just well directed, man. It has, a, it has an indie feel to it. Yes. It's on a major network, but it doesn't feel like it's on a major network. Yes. That's good. I should have said we're going to have spoilers in here, but that's how TV is, man. TV, you got to have spoilers. But it's quick, though. It's quick, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. and out. So you got yeah, It's not really spoilers. It's just jokes, man, yeah. about that shit, man. It was tight, though, man. But when I you really see it, it, it's still going to be effective. Oh, yes. Like, it's still oh, gonna... yes. It was tight, man. Yeah. Now, on the two episodes we got, what would you give it on something like, you know, how you want to, how you want to, how you want to grade this? You want to do scale one to ten, A, B, C, D, E, F. You want to give it your own, your own term. You want to throw some new terms out. You know, we got trash, mediocre. You know what I mean? Epic. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, magical. You know, it's, we, we got our own thing. Yeah, we got our own thing. Let's do our own thing, man. So, so what, what, what's your word? What's your word of greatness or failure? What's what, go ahead and tell the ticket holders out there? What's up? High recommendation. Watch. Watch. High recommendation. High recommendation for yeah. Lonjo Genji. That's right. Watch. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. This is dope. This this right straight here, up. this series is a straight solid B plus, and it only can get better. If it's it gets black worse, production too, man. It's strong, man. Black and, and guys, Young please brother. promote that, man. Yeah. A lot of people might see it as negative, but you got radio stations playing. I eat booty like grocery. It ain't getting no more negative than this. 
That's for real. And, and I like that song. You understand what Donald Glover is saying. I like, I like I like that song too, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I like negative stuff. I like I like I like stuff What's stuff. Up? Some music, you know, it, it go out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time The show talks about that too. It, it, oh my god, he put Fiddy Wop out there, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He was Oh, I gotta say this scene. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna tell you about the Fiddy Wop scene, but you gotta watch it for that one. But there was uh Paperboy did a song. And Paperboy rap, and the little kids were outside with guns, like I'm Paperboy. Brr, brr. His cousin comes up, who's Paperboy, is like, hey, hey, man, hey, uh, uh. She's like, what are you talking about? Don't be talking to me and my kids. Mm -hmm. He's like, wait, wait, I'm, I'm Paperboy. I, you know, I want to say, you know, guns and stuff. That ain't the way to go. And she like, and the boy like, you ain't Paperboy. And he's like, paper, 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 boy, paper, paper. And he's like, oh snap, paper boy. <laughs> he found right? out, yeah. And then the kid, and then the mom just went straight groupy with it. Like, yep. she just threw the pussy at him, like, take that shit. She's like, oh, you paper boy? Oh, okay. But go on, get your mama cell phone. Took pictures with him and she all on him and shit. The whole and family. He, and he did a picture that I couldn't stop laughing about because he had his chain. He was like, it was, <laughs> that shit was classic. The show's good, man. I like the show. I enjoy it. Highly recommend you watch it. I hope it doesn't get bad. It's new, man. It's something original. Something original. FX lets you do a lot on there. I want to see. I want to see more of Vanessa's character. Yeah. I think she has a lot of depth. Uh, I want to see some uh, uh, montages of De uh, Donald Glover's character Earn, where he goes back in time, where they show that back in time, like future, but shows him in college and why he drops out because no one knows why he drops out home they always that. say why he drop out why he drop out of school stuff like that i want to see what's going on donald glover is a very he's he's very good at vision visionaries and his take on everything is different but you get it it's like that sober video i love that video because he got a nice thick black girl in there with her timberland boots and he was just this weirdo in the corner and he made her laugh at the end and she did her little two-step and she was gone but i got it dope I love it. This is a B plus show. It's gonna be good. I think it's epic right now. Right now, we only saw two episodes, but the two episodes I have to say yeah. got better. Well, I like that having that back to back like that because you you really got a foundation of everything yes. where it could be heading. If you so. guys if you guys like these type of reviews, man, tell us what's up, man. We'll try our best to get through them every episode or something like that for you guys, man. Because this show, I, I like it. I thought it was really dope, man. I apologize for some of the spoilers, but TV is a little different from movies, man. So tired, because I mean, you could the just format's say, a little different. When we talk about television. Yeah, you it gotta is. you gotta spoil stuff, man. Yeah. You you can't really be like, oh, it's well, not I'm, intentional either. It's, yeah, cause you, because you know you gotta give detail. Because he's not the type of spoiler, I believe, where it hurts the show. Right. It's not like saying you know, uh, Darth Vader's Luke Skywalker's father. Right. That's a spoiler, like fuck. Because at the end, you still gotta visualize it for yourself. So yeah. the impact is still gonna be strong, yeah. regardless. But that nigga you gay, that shit had me dying laughing. Man. Like, man. Gay. He's like, oh shit. Everybody was not, man. Everybody was laughing, he got bro. Personal with it. Yeah. Forget Mostly, you could tell he was hurt. He was like, no, man. I, I, I promise you, I'm not, man. Yes. I'm not. And Enjoy. Charles Gambino parents are tight too, man. He has the big mama. The dude from the wire. The yes, dad. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Tight. Tight. Good tight cast. casting, man. It has that great yeah. Atlanta feel. That guy's awesome. It has that southern, that southern vibe that I love. And Charles Gambino's from Atlanta. So he knows what's up. You can feel it. And he's not show. fake with this, can, man. Yeah. It's tight, man. But anyway, anything else you got to say about this, man? Uh, I'm going to be tuning in. I'm yes. going to be watching uh, every uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever. So Take a hold of this. If you guys want to see more of these reviews yeah, like that, we'll try our best to get it done, man. That's how we do it on J3 Entertainment. Oh, sorry. It was fun doing this, man, because yeah. we got to talk about something new. Yeah. I hope this this video gets Shout some out views. Shout out to right? Don Glover, man. <laughs> awesome, man. Don oh. Glover, tight, man. Charles yeah. Gabino, you the man. You, you know I, I rock you every... I rock your music every day. You... Uh, I do. What was it? What's my playlist? It's, it's you, Charles Gambino, Logic. Yep. Oh um, man. It's 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 uh, Prince. Um, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's a good I, list. I always play Prince every day, man. Prince forever, man. I might play Michael a little bit more nowadays, but I'm on my Prince zone right now. But that and, and those are my two rappers right now. I have to say Logic. that I really enjoy listening to, and thank you guys for making good music. For real, I mean, yeah, I, I might kinda, go. I, I might go some on uh, Gambino because of him, but I, I knew him through his movies and through his comedy and yeah, writing yeah, in the yeah, community yeah. and all that. So yes, yes, I like it. I'm listening to because the internet right now and uh, yeah, most yeah. of them camp. 
Yeah. To this day, I still listen to Royalty and Point Dexter. That was tight. But anyway, right. yeah, I'm out. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. We try to keep it as simple as possible for you guys, but this show was really epic and it had me in it. So no doubt. I'm J3. My name's Joe like this video, subscribe to the channel. Guys, check out Atlanta on FX. It's dope. You're going to like it. Yeah. Peace, love, love 